a pleasure good day everybody this is sports fanatic news i'm joe borick and this is going to be a quick video previewing the philly series coming up this week against the colorado rockies which is a three gamer starting tonight 645 645 645 or excuse me a four gamer with a 105 ender on thursday in the afternoon at home in the afternoon in philadelphia uh for thursday's game we got zach wheeler going uh, for Wednesday's game, the Phillies, they have a TBD, have Ranger Suarez going, and the Rockies still have a TBD. And then for Tuesday's game, as of course we're working backwards here, the Phillies got Eflin going to German Marquez, who's actually better away from Coors Field, but with the uh, Humidor, like Bryce Harper was saying on the ESPN telecast, it does kind of balance everything out around the league a little bit too much where it was kind of cool having all those differences in the game of baseball to um, ex be expressed in different ballparks, but now you don't have that as much. But anyway, in game one, the Phillies have Kyle Gibson, who's been one of their sharper pitchers this year, against Kyle Freeland, the battle of the two Kyles. As we look at Kyle Gibson this far, uh, he pitched, of course, seven very good innings against Oakland on the ninth. Then pitched six really good innings of three earned runs, two baseballs in Colorado against the Rockies. So that's, of course, the sample size of him against the team he's facing tonight, which is good to use. The only poor outing Gibson had this year was against Miami, which was down in Miami. He's pitched good against Oakland, who's obviously an inferior team on paper. And good against the Rockies, who lineup-wise is one of the hottest lineups to kick off the MLB season. So, hopefully Kyle Gibson can have the same hurrah start as tonight and get the Phillies off to a good start because they need it because their bats have been very up and down, to say the least, and really have just been dead most of the season. And they've been scoring, as I said in the video I did um, the other day, kind of patch runs where they would score a couple in this inning, then not score for a while, a couple in a later inning, and have been scoring a lot six inning or later they got to spread this out more to not put a lot of pressure on themselves take the pressure off try to get like Castellanos is doing like Bohm is doing like mean Gene Segura does try to get more just simplistic at bats that you get hits don't overcomplicate things and maybe that'll work to your benefit better because the Phillies hitting has been a detriment to their success yes the umping has sucked early and Angel Hernandez is, is a disgrace but the hitting also has been a real detriment to their success Jermon Marquez versus Zach Eflin. Eflin and Marquez have both been iffy early. Marquez has been a bit better. I would honestly say if we can get the good Zach Eflin, uh, that's a pretty even matchup. Ranger Suarez, I think, is going to pitch a good game against the Rockies at home. I'm looking for this to be, now that he's in, I think this will be his fourth start uh, for Ranger Suarez. Now that he's kind of getting into a groove, I'm looking for this to kind of be when we see the true Ranger Suarez that we're used to seeing, and not just solid outings from him where he pitched four and two-thirds on the 22nd against Milwaukee and pitched pretty good. He pitched pretty bad against, uh, um, or pitched pretty good, excuse me, not bad. He pitched pretty bad hits-wise against the Fish, I should say, but limited the damage in five innings, uh, giving up six hits but only two earned runs. The game he pitched, uh, not as deep in, but it was his first start was against the New York Mets. So Suarez has been good. It's been more his inning ERA to his innings he's pitched this far has been the big issue. But he still hasn't been the normal Ranger yet because he doesn't look like he has the snap on his stuff, the control of his stuff because of his injury and working his way back. Similar to Sir Anthony Dominguez in the bullpen, that's Suarez in the starting rotation. They're both not there yet where they've shown signs. Well, hopefully in this game, which is what I'm banking on for the Phillies to at least be able to split this series, Ranger having a very good game here because I'm more confident in what I've seen from Suarez early on, uh, which is um, really solid battle stuff than Eflin, who Eflin's been a lot more inconsistent early on, where I'm hoping they can try to somehow have all three pitch and get enough hitting to get three wins in the first two, but that's not a realistic viewpoint from how the teams looked early, so I would definitely take two of three wins in the first three, starting tonight with Kyle Gibson, who's honestly the pitcher I'm the most confident in in the season right now. Um, Ranger Suarez then in game three, and then Zach Wheeler. I mean, Zach Wheeler uh, needs to take the wheels off, pun intended. Uh, he needs to get going big time. 
Um, in three games, he's been very bad. Three innings of bad ball, seven earned runs against Miami. Four innings was good against the Mets. Then five innings of four earned runs. The wheels fell off in the fifth inning against Milwaukee. Four great innings, a poor fifth inning. So Wheeler, yes, he's coming back from injury. But obviously for the Phillies' sake, he doesn't have as much time where Rangers a guy, if Nola can pitch similar to how he did in game one and the and the last game he pitched, I should say, that uh, was yesterday that the Phillies just couldn't score for him. They're fine. They need to have wheels be the guy and have the two horses at the top and then everyone else can kind of fall into place and work their way back in the bottom, especially if Gibby Kyle Gibson's pitching this well. But this has just been a quick series preview. The key for the Phillies is... They have to continue to have the hot bats via Alec Bohm and via Nick Castellanos and then continue to have guys like Gene Segura, who I think is having a good season. Or Yes, he's only in 267 now, but that's because of his injury issue. I think he would be much higher if that didn't happen. Real Muto's doing well. Um, Johan Camargo's been playing like a bat out of hell. Uh, veerling has been hitting lefties well, and they're going to face Freeland, who has not been sharp early on the Rockies. Uh, least impressive pitcher, and I like Kyle Freeland. I love him in his rookie season. I think he has a good yak or good breaking ball and can get it back. It just hasn't been there yet, and hopefully it's not against our Phillies tonight. But I think the Phillies should be able to take advantage of this lefty, and um, hopefully Gibson can keep the ball down and take advantage of some of the over-aggressiveness of the Rockies lineup um, at times. So we'll have to see if Gibson can do that, and we'll have to see if the Phillies can get enough offense because I think Gibson's going to pitch a good enough game and I think the Pens going to be able to pitch a good enough game for us. That's my prediction. Now it's just on the offense. But for this series prediction, I'm predicting a series split, and I would be pretty happy with that with how this team has performed early on. Please get subscribe down below or above the easy use to keep the channel growing to 230 or more by the end of April. We really appreciate you guys' love and support. Peace out, everybody.